Oh, right, there has it going. Today I'm starting a brand new playthrough on Tabletop Racing World Tour, which is a kart racing game that's special to me on a personal level. I've already completed the game to 100%, but I really felt like just playing through it all again and this time sharing it with you. So I've reset my data. Now, before we begin, we're going to have to pick a car. So they're going to give us a bit of money and we're going to have to go to the garage. So this is what we've got. We've got 13 and a half thousand uh, credits to get started. These are the four cars in the beginning category. So we're just going to grab the cheapest one, which is this cute little beetle. And we're not going to bother upgrading it or anything. We're just going to go with it as it is. And so the first uh, game mode up is championships, which is what's going to make up the first six episodes. Um, so let's just go in and take a look at what we got. Cult Classics, which is your amateur difficulty. And the first uh, the first module up is the Spark Plug Trophy. So to win a championship trophy, first you need to beat all the events leading up to the finale with a minimum of a bronze star. Win stars, earn coins, upgrade your car and win events to unlock new championships and buy new cars. Cool. So this game has a nice old school progression system. Uh, it came out before a lot of uh, newer games came out with all this like daily login bonuses and you know like season passes and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. Everything's done with the in-game currency. Um, right. So first up, combat race features a full grid of mayhem with a range of offensive and defensive power-ups. Collect power-ups by driving through the pickup bubbles. Take your time to learn how to use each pickup. You can use power-ups by pressing the fire button. Right, so this race is going to be mostly a formality just to help people uh, learn the controls, learn how the game works. So there's only five opponents. There's only three basic power-ups, which is bomb that you leave behind you, turbo boost, and uh, straight shooting rocket. And that's it, junk into trunk route A, three laps. And what I'm going to do for this series is, um, part one is going to be about the base game, which is what we're playing now. And each episode is going to feature its own championship module. Oh, I didn't get the boost start, never mind. So there's no uh, manual gears option in this game. Um, it's quite simple in terms of controls. Uh, pressing A to fire. Oh, driven into a bomb. Later on, when we unlock uh, wheel weapons, so we go on the X button. Uh, we're on the Xbox controller, by the way. So, um, if you're thinking about it in terms of a PlayStation, it'd be X to fire, and then I think it's square is the left one, isn't it? That'll be the one for your wheel weapon. We can look behind, but there's no other camera button, so we can't look to our sides, which is yeah, a little bit. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference, really, but you know, at least we can look behind, I suppose. So yeah, first race, nice and simple. As I say, just a formality to teach you the controls and whatnot. So that's that done already, and that'll be three stars. Good solid start. And we're level two, level three. So, what is next? We are now going to be introduced to time trials. Complete a sequence of laps before the clock runs out. Clean, consistent, accurate racing lines and strategic use of the turbo power-ups are required. Uh, so what this means is that we have to complete all of the laps that they give us within uh, the allotted time. So to get a full three star on this one, one minute and three and a half seconds. We're on Yosushi Route 8, so let's get into it. I've got three laps to do, and I'm still not finding the, uh, the boosted start, so I've got to work on my timing for that. Mr. Power Ups. There's one. And the obstacles that you can see me bumping into and shoving out of the way 
sometimes they're really not a big deal, but sometimes they can actually uh, like knock you off course. And there's a weird bug that you're probably going to see at some point in the game that uh, actually causes the car to be knocked up. Um, doesn't happen when you're just driving along normal, but it can happen sometimes uh, when you're going over a rough surface or landing the car. But, I mean, you'll see it. It doesn't happen too often, luckily. There you go. So we did that with uh, three seconds to spare, which is nice. We probably won't need upgrades at all to get through this first module, to be honest. Uh, now we've got the hot lap one. You've got 90 seconds to give us your fastest lap. All the power-ups are turbos, but where you use them will be vital. Win trophies and coins by beating the target times. If you're happy with a lap time, you can end the session early from the pause menu. So on this one, they're only looking for one good lap. You've got a minute and a half to do one good lap. So if we can beat a lap of 19 seconds, we'll get three stars. Also, please tell me if I've got the balance right with the music, uh, the well, the level of the game sounds and music compared to my voice. Hey, there's a boost. At least it was a red boost. So I'm not going to... Well, I'm not even going to pick that one up, apparently. I'm not going to use the boosts on my first lap. I'm actually going to save it. And then uh, that will give me a nice uh, boost across the line to start the next lap. We've already done enough to get two stars, so... This shouldn't be too hard. Mm, saying that hit the dice on the first turn and then let myself go a little wide in some of these turns. Alright, that's enough to get three stars though, so we actually don't need to continue. But I am going to because I know that there's a coin here. Oh, I can't even hit it. Come on. There we go. There's one. And there's one just a little bit further around the track. So I'll grab those now. There it is. And then we're good. At least that's two of the coins. I don't think there's one there. No, I don't think so. But anyway, because we got the uh, time we wanted, we can actually end the session there, and that should also register the two bonus coins. So that's uh, 20,000 additional coins. I'll go back for... Um, all of the other coins like later later when I finished everything else right next up chop shop route a five opponents five laps and this time they've added in uh, the lightning bolt icon which is a AOE around the car like an EMP um, you'll see it you can use it defensively as well which is cool standard combat race so, so let's get into it and see if we can pick up the uh, EMP a couple of times to show you that. Slow start. So what I wonder if I can put that in front of this one behind us. Yeah. And another bomb. That there. I think we got one. And we've got a normal rocket, which is not really going to do us much favours from first place. So I'm just going to, I'm going to fire it and then go between all the power ups. Now we've got the lightning bolt one. So if anyone gets near us. Actually, I don't think they're going to do because I'm already quite far in front. But um, we're basically, I'm going to fire it, and anyone who gets caught in that in that little blast there, they would get um, sort of slowed down. And you can also use it to defend against incoming missile attacks, which is cool. Requires good timing, but it's really cool when you can actually pull it off. There we go. Nice easy win. So yeah, this first episode's not going to be particularly dramatic, I expect, but coming into 
the later ones, especially the uh, the supercars. That'll be around episodes five and six. Um, things might get a little bit more interesting around that point. All right, we've got another hot lap one to do. Unthinkable two, route A, and we've got 16 seconds for the target time. Well, at least I've got a red boost. Red Bull. beaten the time we needed to beat so we can end the session already great it's another three stars so next up we have our first uh, non-combat race or pure race they like to call it Beat the other races to the finish line, no power-ups at all, just pure driving skill, clean racing is optional. So yeah, you can still drive into each other, there's no rules as such. Five opponents, no weapons, uh, jump into trunk route A, so that'll be the same track that we was on for the first race, I think. Oh, at least we got the red boost that time. That's, uh, did you see that there, where the car just kind of bounces up a bit? It can be a lot more violent than that, especially in some of the faster cars. And it, there's just some parts where it just sends you flying backwards, and you're like, what? How? <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't happen particularly often. It's just annoying when it does. Especially if you like lose positions because of it on like the last lap or something. But yeah. At the end of the day, it's not really a huge big deal. So there's another nice easy win. So, so far we've been nailing those three stars on every event that we've done. Alright, next up then is the actual spark plug trophy finale, uh, which will be a proper championship take your place on the podium this is the ultimate multi-race challenge you learn points based on your finishing position for each race these points add up from one race to the next the driver with the most points after the final race wins the championship win trophies bitcoin prizes and unlock new championships so what that means is you're going to get a series of three races with a grand prix style point system so it doesn't matter if you win or not, what matters is how many points you have overall at the end, if that makes sense. I mean, you'll see, you know how this stuff works, I'm sure you do. Uh, every power-up is available in the game, including uh, homing missiles, acid baths, and my personal favourite one, the freeze blast. So, we've always, oh yeah, we've also got like all eight cars, so we've got seven opponents as well, so let's go. We've got a blue boost as well for the start. Oh, 
this one's the acid bar. This one will leave a puddle on the floor that will slow anyone out who drives through it. But of course I have to actually drive through it, maybe we'll get someone later. Oh, it wasn't in range. Oh, my favourite weapon, the icicle. Ice blast. I missed everyone, oh my god. I was trying to hit them both and I went in between them. Never mind. I will have my revenge. Skill shot. Now I've got the ice blast again and there's no one in front of me. Oh, there will be now, I just got shot. I missed again! What is wrong with me? I'm not even going to get a good finish now, am I? Okay, well, we're going to get a fourth. But luckily because it's a uh, championship series we've got two more races to get some more points so as long as I don't do as badly as that we'll be okay so there we all get eight points for fourth place and that leaves us in fourth overall going into the second race These kind of events in this game always remind me of like Mario Kart and F-Zero X on the N64 back in the day. When uh, this kind of championship was the bread and butter of the game. It was always like six or eight races, I think it was six. I think it was four in Mario Kart and six in F-Zero X. Love those games. seconds. Cool. So that's worth 12 points and that is going to put a second overall. So if we're lucky we might still be able to win the gold trophy. so that's going to help a bit. Yeah, take that. Should hold on to this missile or get something else. Sure. Okay, ice block again. I think I've called this weapon something different every time. 
Icicle, Ice Blast, Ice Block. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get any sword. To be honest, I wonder if this isn't worth holding on to either. Like, it's maybe like a bomb or a turbo would be good. We can put that there. Someone drove into it, that's lovely. We can put Acid Bath there. Someone drove into that too, that's wonderful. Two people did. Lovely. And we won that race. So, we might be lucky and take first place overall, thanks to that. That's 15 points. Hey, we did it! By four points. That's absolutely wonderful. Let's get everyone else in the bin where they belong. <laughs> and take our spot on the top of the block. Congratulations, you have won the gold spark plug trophy. Excellent. New championship unlock. So the next time we play, it will be for the twin cam challenge. And we can now go back and use any car we want to get stars. I mean, to be honest, I've never needed to use a card that's been above the category to go back and get stars. But you can if you want to. Right, so the next one's going to be the Twin Cam Challenge, but that's going to be next, quick, uh, next week. That's going to be it for this one. So you will take care, and I'll see you next time.